Now they're my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. May the Father and the Son receive all honor and glory and praise from their creation. We thank the Father Almighty through His precious Son, Yeshua, for sending His Holy Spirit to reveal all truths. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this is going to be a quick video, but this is something that has been pulling at my heart, and I realize it, and it, it's, um, it, it's really sad, and sometimes it just, um, as I just lay here at times, I think about it, and it brings me to tears, and that I just ask God, what are, what, what, what are we to do, like, our brothers and sisters, I see in these days, and, it, and Christ also said it himself in scriptures, and say, uh, um, there will come a time where people will no longer heed sound doctrine. I mean, scripture said it. There will come a time where people will no longer heed sound doctrine. And he's not talking about, or scripture's not talking about people who don't believe in God. It, it, it's pointing at those who profess themselves as Christians. They no longer heed sound doctrine. I mean, this. let me tell you what this means. This is a a person who is lukewarm. They go to church. They probably read the Bible. But the thing is, they know they must get serious with the Lord, but they just don't. They don't really care to at the moment, as if they have forever. All right, you hear someone that is a professed Christianity, they uh, profess to read the Bible and call themselves speaking in tongues, but if this is the truth, and then, like, you uh, attempt to conversate with them about the things of God, like, in depth, there's, like, a a shunning. It's like, that's not where their heart is. That's not where their mind is. It's like a surface false Christianity type religion, whatever it is. Still worldly. It's like there's no desires. There's no wants. There's no craving. There's no uh, broken heartedness. There's no sorrow. To truly want to get with right with God he said they will no longer he sound doctrine that means they will no longer pay attention to the truths and what they would need to save them these people are not saved hear that the lukewarm they are not saved understand when you call yourself saved, that means you are saved from the wrath of the Father. But these individuals continue to abide in sin, make a practice of sin, habitual sinners. There's sin, you know there's sin, but there's no repentance, there's no sorry, there's no I'm changing, I'm turning away from that, I will no longer do that, God forgive me, help me to live according to your will, I will I will try my hardest to uh, um, live right by you, and this is the honest truth, send your Holy Spirit, Lord, I seek you, I'm sorry, no, I don't see that, I examine it and I don't see that around me. I mean, it's so real that God just wait, opens your eyes to see these things. Before, when I lived in the world, I didn't see any of these because I was blinded with the world, blinded with people. But until the time I came to the end of myself by the grace of the Lord, he opened my eyes for me to see that people do not Christians, quote-unquote, which they are not because they are not saved by their sins. God's wrath is still on them. But he's patiently waiting for them to change. But they don't have the rest of their lives to do that. Any moment at God's discretion, he can kill them and they would, be ju they would, they would die in their sins, being sent to hell. But these are the same individuals that's walking around happy-go-lucky. 
And God allows me to see this with my very own eyes. There's times when uh, uh, you work with these individuals and you laugh and you uh, conversate sometimes, but then the Lord hits you and say, my wrath is on them. My wrath is above their heads. I will kill them if they don't repent. And in in the midst of me conversating with them, in the midst of me uh, laughing and joking with these people, reality just hit me in the midst to where my heart is broken. But the thing is, they're no longer heeding sound doctrine. You can preach it. You can speak it. It just goes in one ear and out the other. For them to go to church on Sunday, for them to read their Bibles, that's especially saying, that is good enough. They're basically saying, that's good enough. I know I'm right with God. But you're trying to tell them, you need to change your ways. You are not saved. You do not have the Holy Spirit. But the people are stuck in their ways in these last days. Just like a preacher said, he said, there'll come a time where individuals won't be able to repent. It's not that they can't. They just won't be able to. They're so stuck in their sinful ways that they believe in their mind that they're right with God. They believe in their mind that they will have, as they get old, and they will come to the end of themselves, and they will repent. But for one who has that mindset, they will never end up repenting because they get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into sin to the point their conscience is severed. And when it's severed, you don't repent. You just live just like that, steady, on a flow until the moment you die, never having come to repentance. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, that is scary. That is very scary to play with God. God says, "Don't touch, do not test Him." But this is the mindset of majority of individuals. They say, "Well, I will get right with God in another year. I will get right with Him in another two years, in another three years." But they get deeper and deeper and deeper into sin to the point where. They, they're given over to a reprobated mind. And this reprobated mind says, you're still right with God. You go to church on Sundays. You still uh, follow some of his commandments. God understands. You read your Bible. This is the lies of the serpent. This is the same lies the serpent uh, deceived Eve with. Allowing you to be comfortable in disobedience. But you're not saved. When you're saved, that means you're saved from the wrath of God. Anyone who refuses to repent, you will die in your sins and God's wrath will be upon you. Christ's death will not count for you. You will die for your own sins and then be cast into the lake of fire. I see this every day. Sometimes it goes past me, but it's always like the Holy Spirit draws me back to reality. Saying these people are walking dead. The wrath of God are on uh, are on each of these individuals, and it's not funny anymore. It's like you can't joke anymore. It's like you know the reality, you know the truth, and you're attempting to explain this to these individuals, but they've been given over to a reprobated mind. We live in these last days and prophecy is fulfilled when he said they will no longer heed sound doctrine. So what you are doing, what I'm seeing, I'm watching dead people walk. There's that movie that comes out 
that came out saying, I see dead people. This is what you see as you're going on about your life, when you're at work, when you're at the store, any and everywhere you go, you see dead people. Spiritually, they're dead, warped in their sin, never coming to repentance. They said, I will repent, I will repent soon, I will repent soon, but never repents. And they end up dying in their sins, having the wrath of God on them, not saved from his wrath because they have never come to repentance, never come to submissiveness, never saying, Lord, I've done you wrong as far as living the way I've lived against your will. Forgive me, send your Holy Spirit, have Christ to wash me clean so that I may become a new person. New person. This new person is to ch- is changing the way you think, changing the way you talk, changing the way you carry yourself. Do you desire the things of God? Do you desire to read the scriptures? Do you desire to live like Christ? Do you cry and moan and groan? And, and, and are you angry for the sins of the world? Do you look at people's lives and do you cry in your in your heart? Do you, did, did God open your eyes to show you the reality, the truth that these people will die in their sins for all eternity? It hurts. But I ask God, what, what, what am I supposed to do then? God says, the gospel will be preached, and then the end shall come. The broken and hurtful part is about this. These individuals have heard the gospel over and over and over and over again because they attend church, but they are dead. It is up to God now to shake them up, to cause them to change. But if God doesn't do that, they will die in their sins. Having thought, they will live in accordance with God's will. This is scary. My brothers and sisters, if you fall on this video, if you are lukewarm, you need to make a decision to give your whole life 100% over to the Lord. If not, you will perish. You are not saved from the wrath of God if you don't change your ways. If you don't have a changed mindset on the way you think, the way you act, the way you see God, the way you see sin, the way you see the things of this world. You must change. Christ didn't come to be murdered violently in vain for you to continue to live against God's will. This is the reason he was sent on the cross, because we disobeyed. But you continue in disobedience. And you think you're going to step into the kingdom of God? If you think that your mind has already been given over to a reprobated mind, you must change. God's desire is for all to come to repentance, for all to come to truth. And when they realize this deep truth, they will repent. God desire he wants everyone to know this. You must know this so that you may change. But many have, have hardened their hearts. And with hardening their hearts... They continue to live against God's will, and God's wrath is still on them. And when they die, they will face judgment. They will be sent and cast into the lake of fire for all eternity. It's not that God has rejected you. You rejected him. You in your heart, at heart in your heart, saying you don't want to live according to his will. You want to live according to your will. And this is how, this is what caused Christ's death. 
Sin does not go unpunished. Sin does not go unpunished. You must change your ways. Take care.